Last weekend was the first Formula One Grand Prix of the year in Australia. And the lead up to it, Netflix released a documentary called Formula One Drive to Survive. Now, although the name of the title is a little cheesy, the documentary is one of the best I've seen in a long time. And as an ex F1 fan, I finally got interested in it after over a decade. Today, I'm talking about F1. I'm Flynn Francisco. The last time I was interested in F1 was back in 2006. Fernando Alonso was with Renault and I had painted all of my cars on Need for Speed blue and yellow. I had gone to the Indianapolis Grand Prix and at that point I had a mild interest in F1, but after the race my mind was blown. I followed F1 closely that year, but F1 can get really confusing for the casual watcher. That's why Netflix documentary was really great. Over the season they break down the stories of each of the drivers, the challenges they face and their major opponents, but also talks about the cars, the companies and the politics. It's a real deep dive into one of the fastest sports in the world and reignited my passion for F1. If you have the time, do check it out. A lot of people have even said that after the documentary they were interested and even sat down to watch the first race of the season. The next race is in Bahrain on March 30th, so there's enough time to cast a documentary before the race starts. Now, this is not a paid promotion and they don't even know I'm making this, but I really enjoyed the documentary and I hope that you guys like it too and maybe even become an F1 fan. That's it for today. If you think you might be interested in a sport with fast cars, passion and drama, let me know in the comments below and hit that thumbs up if you liked the video and do subscribe. Thanks for watching.